Dan from Denim DJ. I'm here with the guys at DJ Kits, and with me today I have the SC5000 Prime Media Players. The SC5000 is a part of the Prime range of products, the Prime series, which includes the VL12 turntable and the X1800 mixer. The most unique feature about the SC5000 is the built-in onboard multi-processor multi computer. This allows major features such as real-time track analysation, so I can plug in a USB drive into the device and within a matter of moments we can benefit from real-time beat grids, waveforms and BPM and key analysation. Once your drive has been analysed it then saves back onto the file on the drive so in the future it's only a one time per track process. We do also have our Engine Prime software which is a management software where we can prepare crates and playlists, we can import our iTunes libraries and our Serato libraries and export this information onto a USB drive. Now looking to the unit at the front at the bottom we have a single SD card slot and a USB card slot and we can also see this is illuminated for dark environments and on the rear of the unit we also have two further USB slots so each device can hold up to three USB drives and one SD card slot. We can link devices together so we can have up to four devices linked via network. The X1800 mixer actually has a four port LAN hub built into the rear so we can network all four without any external hardware. Once a device is loaded, we can see here on the screen, we can see all the information we need. Now this screen is ultra high quality, it's more than three times the frame rate of anything ever seen in the DJ market, it's 55 frames per second, and it's 7 inch, and we can also see that it's also multi-touch compatible, so we can spread and pinch to zoom, but we can also use the, the, the uh, knob on the side. We can see here in this analysed track that I can see my waveforms represent the frequencies in the track, so my blues represent my lows, my greens are my, high, uh, my mids, and my whites and my highs. So we can see the zoomed in waveform moving across the screen now as the track plays and at the bottom we can see a full track length waveform. We can also use this section to navigate quickly through certain parts in the track. Now because this track's been analysed through Engine we can see my cue points are all saved and I've also renamed them and my loop points have also been saved and, and named in there as well. So the screen really is a pleasure to work with and it gives you all the information and real time feedback you need for your performance. So let's take a more detailed look at the browsing functionality of the touchscreen. So at the moment in our main screen we can see we have ac access to our prearranged crates, our playlists, any prepare folders where I can save tracks for recall later on and also access any root folder directories. Within here I can navigate to my crates or my playlists and then browse through my tracks. If I want to see more track information I can hold down on the track and we'll see very detailed track information such as label, year and any comments that might be on there I've saved. I can now swipe to the right to load a track onto the deck but if I want to add a track into the prepare folder for later I can swipe to the left and that track will now appear in the prepare folder for later on. Looking into the screen now we can see our track information, our BPM and, and key information and also the waveform. We can see at the bottom here because the layer function we can see both waveforms stacked so layer A at the bottom if I switch to layer B they switch over as well and we can also still see the track position so if we're getting close to the end of the track we can see where we're up to at all time. We have an 8 inch touch capacitive jog wheel with the LED illumination around the outside and we can customise these colours as per, per our preference for each deck. We also have a sensor jog LED, LED display which displays the artwork for the track and also real time information such as loop points, loop values. We can also customise our own image into here so we, if we have our own logo or artwork we can save that into the device. Now for performance controls, we have multi-performance pads at the bottom. These features are not what you normally expect from a software-based controller, but because the onboard processing and computer is so powerful, we can do this all on a standalone unit. So we have hot cues, which again can be recalled from your saved Engine Prime database, or we can create these on the fly. So we'll see straight away I can recall my hot cues, delete them, and also re-enable re re them. The same goes with loops. Within the Engine Prime software, we can save loops and we can rename them and we can toggle through loops in like a live performance situation. We also have the popular roll effect where we can do like a slip mode enabled roll performance 
we have the traditional sizes of rolls such as two beat, one beat, half, quarter and eighths, but we've also included very popular triplet controls. And we've also included the slicer mode. The slicer mode will dissect a two bar sequence into eight individual slices. Each slice is represented on the pads. At any point I can lock myself into them two slices and we can perform on the pads. I can change the roll value for each of the pads as well which we'll see now. Moving across to the cross to the um, pitch fader, this is an ultra high resolution, very sensitive fader. We can change the range through typical ranges such as plus and minus 100%, 50, 20, 10, 8, but we've also included plus and minus 4%. So no matter how slow your music or how delicate you want to be with your BPM changes, you can do that with this fader. We've also included a key lock feature, so as we change through the, the pitch, we can maintain the same musical key, but if we disable this feature, what you'll see on the screen as I change through ranges it'll actually show us on here the actual key we're changing into so technically if we change the pitch range on any track without key lock enabled we're changing the key this product will tell you what key you're moving into and how far into that compatibility you are a great feature for musical you know, musical um, harmonic mixing we'll also see that if I'm working on an extreme range such as plus or minus 50% of the BPM the resolution is such high quality that we can transition through BPMs without any glitches or any drop in audio quality. We have the stereotypical sync and master control so we can sync up multiple devices and we also have adjustment of the tension of the jog wheel and also of the stop and start time like a vinyl emulation control. Another very, very powerful feature and one of the most talked about is the, is the ability to layer on the unit, similar to you have from a software controller. So whereas this unit we are now controlling one deck, we can switch between layers and on the rear of the unit we actually have two pairs of RCA outputs and two individual digital outputs. So from one deck we can do two deck mixing, from two we can do four, and so on and so on. So at the moment we can see I have a, DAC, a, a track load up into layer B, but I can switch into layer A, load up a second track, and I can continue to mix through tracks. Let's take a quick look. A very powerful feature for any DJ looking to take their performance to the next level, essentially giving you twice as much performance capability per unit. The device will also work integrated HID mode with Serato, so plug the USB cable into your laptop running Serato and they'll instantaneously match up, connect together and your screen will represent all the information you expect from the software controller. Safety modes were included in the unit as well, such as the power mode, so when your track is playing, if by any chance the power supply is removed, we can still maintain audio for up to 10 seconds. Once the power is reconnected, we can see the audio still maintains without any dropouts whatsoever. The same goes for the USB drive. If the USB drive is accidentally pulled out or removed by accident, the track will still play until the very end of the track without any dropouts in audio whatsoever. So we really thought about what happens in a real life DJ world behind the box. So that's everything I'm going to show you today on the SC5000s. If you want to get in touch with the guys at DJ Kit or come down to the shop and check these out in the next few weeks, they'll be more, more than happy to help you.